Hello there, after the patch 2.3 the convergence traps behavior and what they can be used for has completely changed. Uh, thanks Funcom for that. So the game keeps changing and uh, what has changed on these traps is what we are going to see today and if this is pretty much a new out uh, updated video of the traps, okay? One of the really few things that haven't changed on these traps was really the fact that you can still obtain it uh, through going to one of the Lee Shrines, okay, to unlock the feet, the Elder Constructions feet, which will unlock a series of recipes together with the Convergence trap and this Convergence actions here, okay? That's what you need to know in order to be able to craft a trap, okay? A part of the materials that you'll need to use this for. It's kind of cheap, actually. And um, if you are playing on a server or in a single player se session where the purge is disabled, then the Convergence trap is going to be pretty useless. It does not work anymore with the storm event, the maelstrom, which used to come and um, hit with the lightning strike the top of the traps in order to automatically generate resources into the trap interface, into the trap inventory. Not anymore, the container, I mean. Uh, so thanks to a person who watched my previous Convergence Traps video that noticed the difference uh, between uh, the video, the Convergence Traps I had there interface and this new one, something was really wrong and I wasn't really aware of the changes of uh, this uh, trap, actually something that I missed in the previous patch, so I apologize um, to the fact that I'm only doing this video one month, kind of uh, one month later after the patch came out. Uh, so the new things that you have here on the trap are these two buttons. These at the cost of 200 unstable um, question marks, unstable substances that you can eventually obtain through certain enemies like those ugly enemies coming from the storm. Nothing is for free in Koenigsells except for mods just in case you're playing on the PC, yeah. So at the cost of 200 of these things, you can draw unwanted attention. What does this really mean? So while um, in the normal way of obtaining um, the chance of getting a purge uh, attacking your base, um, that is to fill up this meter through uh, some actions like building, crafting and even killing enemies, the purge meter will start to fill up. This will take some of your gameplay time until you're able to get a purge attacking your base. Um, through the trap, uh, you can obtain that chance of filling the purge meter instantly. Okay, so this will force a purge, but forced purges through the trap may be slightly different from the common purges that you are used to experience, alright? And what do I want to mean with this? The purges that come with the traps are only human NPC purges, so no creature purges are available through the trap, okay? But this means something, it means that you can even have higher chances of getting specialty for purge trolls, okay, to your base by invoking NPC human only um, purges, okay? And we are going to check that out soon. Uh, I get a variety of um, human NPCs, uh, factions with each purge, like I can get either Lemurians or even Black Hand faction enemies, okay? In this trap, you also have the option to revoke convergence. This will do the opposite to the invoke one. This will actually prevent you from having purges. This will lower down to zero the purge meter. It will reset your meter like it is now, okay, empty, which means that will prevent or postpone the next purge, okay, but at the cost as well, at the cost of lesser incenses, these things here, which I got in here and we will be checking this out later, uh, but there's a little nasty surprise by doing this, okay, once you add this here, 200 unstable uh, question marks <laughs> you can invoke a convergence so let's do this and what happens is that 
after the first use of this trap, this crafting queue is going to just be stuck forever unless you do something. The convergence traps have multiple uses thanks to one of the developers for helping me with that and also thank you to Alren Storm for um, telling me a little tip about this. This trap didn't get bugged after the first use. Actually I didn't notice that I could actually click on this play button in order to craft a new Invoke Convergence um, event, okay? And that's it. Once this event is happening with the new animation, you cannot access the trap anymore until the purge is over. Until events are over, this it just cannot be accessed or destroyed by normal means, okay? Or picked up. My purge meter just got to the max, filled up through this and in a couple of minutes I will have a warning sign on my screen saying that uh, certain types of NPCs are going to attack my base and then I will have some preparation time in order to be ready for um, facing the purge that will try to attack me and my base as well. Through some purges that I've already um, invoked they just destroyed half of the base already, okay? I'll just keep using this for testing. I advise you to invoke purges with having a, at least a medium-sized base, let's say around 100 pieces or something like that. Um, also to be sure that you have like enough structure to defend yourself and such. It doesn't matter if you have uh, two or three bases, the purge will attack only one base at a time. And I also want to mention that forced purges have two waves. And I think the forced purges also depend a little bit on the server settings, not sure about the difficulty though. I had it before at 3, which is the medium difficulty, but I put it at 5. 6 is the max. Uh, but the purge preparation time is exactly as the time that you will have with a normal purge uh, after uh, the um, sign uh, on your screen shows up telling you that uh, you are about to have a purge uh, attacking your base I'm going to have two minutes to preparate myself the max time is 30 minutes but I prefer to have this uh, just for the video now and then it can last 14 minutes in this case but you can eventually change the settings or a server admin can if you are not one or not playing in a single player session You will have to fight enemies between the tier 1 and tier 4, right? Tier 4 here on the purges are pretty much what I call of elite NPCs. Uh, these are slightly bigger sometimes than the other uh, humans, sometimes not. While um, NPCs from the tier 1 to tier 3 will drop random common loot that you will also find um, in the same in the human NPCs from camps uh, the bigger sized enemies for example can drop something special and I got one here that is called I wrote the clairvoyant uh, she is a um, priest of a priestess of their cattle which I'm using here on this altar and I've already tested and killed one of these uh, NPCs before and she dropped a um, scroll that allowed me to learn the 
their keto religion just in case i didn't have the religion already unlocked uh, i can uh, obtain it for free through that scroll through what this enemy will drop unless you capture one of these of course I don't remember about inviting so many people to my party. Also, once you get the first purge, uh, your purge meter will go down, but uh, you start killing the enemies from that purge and your meter starts going up again. So, just in case you don't want to face another purge so soon, come back to the trap which will be now accessible again, exactly, and go for the revoke convergence option. with lesser substances instead now. Let's craft this. And I advise you to stay away once this crafts, because it will release gas and it will spread. Unless you have um, those masks that will protect you against noxious gases, just don't stay too close to this trap. Now that's what I call a trap. <laughs> It gives you a little surprise, but also the fact that is going to reset your purge meter is awesome. So that's all I have to tell you for now. I hope this video was useful. See you later.